It's Thursday the 9th of December and welcome to day 9 of Advent Bedtime Stories. And day 9 is called Busy Busy Busy. There's so much to do by Christmas Eve, Santa yawns as he gets up in the morning. PJ the dog is already running downstairs and Luna jumps off the bed with a cheery woof, woof. Now I've found my phone. The first thing I must do is read the latest text from my sister Catherine. Here goes. Dear Santa, I have sent you 32 texts and you haven't replied to any of them. You can't be that busy. After all, you only work one night a year. I'm coming to stay so I can sort you out. It will be good to spend Christmas with you for once. I don't suppose you have much else on and could do with my company. I'm booking a flight, but you will need to pick me up from the airport. I will have a lot of luggage, so make sure you get there in good time. As soon as you reply, I will buy my air ticket. Get back to me immediately. Your loving sister, Catherine. P.S. Don't bother giving me a Christmas present, as I know you don't know much about them. P.P.S. Make sure you get rid of that ghastly dog of yours before I arrive. Santa doesn't often scream, but today he does. Big time. Ah! Oh dear, Luna, what am I going to do? Catherine never takes no for an answer. Sisters can be wonderful, but not right now. And certainly not here. I'm just far too busy. And of course... I would never dream of hiding you away, Luna. I think this will call for drastic action. Meanwhile, Santa gets back to work. Mrs. Claus and PJ whiz up to the stables on her snowmobile with another basket of her special mince pies. She hides more of them in the hay bale for the reindeer to find. Her idea has done the trick perfectly. None of them have tried to escape to get breakfast at the house since. Just before bedtime, Santa tells Mrs. Claus about his messages from Catherine. She smiles and says, I don't think Catherine quite understands what we do. She could come and help if she likes, or maybe she can come and stay once you've recovered from your travels. You decide, dear. When getting ready for bed, Santa can't help making up a song. December brings such great delights, the excitements can't be ignored. It's kisses time, Christmas time, big sister's missus time, and the arrival of big sister Catherine. Once in bed, he sends her a text. Dear Catherine, sorry I didn't answer your messages, but I lost my phone. Of course it would be lovely to see you, but I have to check something first. I'll get back to you first thing tomorrow. Love from Santa, Mrs. Claus, PJ and especially Luna. With a little chuckle, Santa puts out the light. Christmas spells, Christmas spells, Christmas all the way. Oh, what fun it is to sleep and wake up the next day. Nighty night, my sweetie pies. Just you wait to see what tomorrow brings. And yes, tomorrow you will find out too. It's bedtime now. Night, night, everybody.